Hey y'all, this is Keisha coming to y'all tonight to, oh my gosh, I'm so in love. I'm coming to do um, a card using the In Bloom stamp set in the mini catalog. Let me show it to you. It's so pretty. If I can find my mini. Okay, here's the mini catalog. All right, so y'all know celebration is in full swing, right? All right, so um, let's see. Let's flip to the stamp set. Well, the bundle, because I'm using the stamp set and the bundle. Um, I don't know where it is in the catalog. Hold on, let me look back here. I'm so excited. Like, these guys are amazing. And when I saw them, like, I knew I had to use them. Okay, it's on page 45. It's called the In Bloom Bundle. Here it is right here. And I love the stamp set. So we're gonna use the, the sentiment in the stamp set, but I'm telling you, the card that I'm making tonight is, is pretty much gonna focus on the dies. So it's on page 45 in the celebration catalog. You can get the bundle for 48.50, bump it up another dollar and 50 cents. You have um, $50 and you can earn a celebration item for free. Um, and you can choose this paper blooms, this paper pack right here because I'm gonna feature that in the card um, you can choose this paper for free it's the paper blooms designer series paper in the designer um, in the celebration catalog so you can get all of this for $50 okay all right so here we go in bloom stamp set with the dies the dies are called oh uh, Pierce blooms dies and I just I went like, I just love the dye so much. I was like cutting a, a bunch out in, in different um, colors of cardstock. And so I actually made this card with my team last night, night before last. And so the, um, the sketch I'm gonna use today, but I'm gonna use different colors. So this one, um, I used the sentiment, happy birthday, you really are the best. And then I stamped um, on the inside um, in soft sea foam and night of navy. Okay, so we're gonna use pretty much the same laid out layout, but I'm gonna use different colors. Okay, and then the designer series paper. I'm actually using the back side of this paper. Okay, and I was trying to decide after doing all the die cutting because I, I didn't want the video to be too long, but I'm gonna walk you through. Um, the colors that I used and the um, how I layered this all together and the dyes, other dyes that I used. Okay, let me move these out of the way. This was like die cut and I used on the other card. Okay, I'm gonna put those to the side because I still have to die cut, I think one more leaf to like set this off. Okay, so I decided I was torn between using the um, Hmm, this color, hmm, I don't, I didn't know. Either Highland Heather or, um, I chose Highland Heather. This is Purple Posy. I thought this was too light. Um, so I went with uh, um, Highland Heather, all right? And then I'm going to layer a piece of basic white. And then here's that designer series paper, which I'm using. I want to use this side. Um, not totally monochromatic, but something I think is going to pull um, the soft sea foam out of this cardstock, and then I'm going to layer um, on top with Holland Heather and Purple Posy. All right, and then I'm also going to use this gorgeous grape ribbon. Um, this is this is the sheer ribbon and gorgeous grape, and this is also in the mini catalog. So you can also you can add this. Um, so the bundle is what, $48.50, the ribbon I think is $6.50 maybe, and then you can choose a celebration item because you'll be over the $50. And then if you don't have the colors that I use, you can use whatever colors you want um, that will coordinate with the designer series paper. All right, so let's go. Um, I cut, so these are simple layers. This piece right here in Soft Sea Foam is... Four by two. So I'm going to layer that like that. And then this is the stitched 
uh, rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I think I use these dies in almost every card. It is like right here next to me because I use it so, so much. Um, and then I'll put that up there. And then I may bring in another piece to do my sentiment. I just have to see. Or I may just stamp on this. We'll see um, as we put this together. All right. Let's start with... Um, let's go ahead and put the basic white layer down first I need to put the dies to the side so I don't lose them there are a ton of dies in this um, in that die set okay so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down with my stamp and seal on top of my Holland Heather cute looks good um now I am going to put my piece of soft sea foam on the designer series paper because before I adhere it down, I am going to um, wrap my ribbon around. So I think I want it just like that. And then this is going to be here just so that um, the flowers will have something to, to bounce off of but before I do that um, let me bring in my ribbon I'm trying to place this so I'll know where I need to place my ribbon and I think I'm gonna put my ribbon kind of up at the top all right so let's do let's wrap the ribbon around hope everybody is doing well I'm glad you guys joining me today or tonight, wherever you are, it's night for me. All right, this might be too much, but it's okay. I'll tie it, and then I can move it. Gotta place the um, the die cuts on it. Too loose. Oh, I need to hold it. I am binge watching um, CSI. The kids and I started um, Criminal Minds, and I don't want to go and watch the last episode of the first season. I know Criminal Minds has been around a long time, but I'm just jumping on the bag wagon bandwagon. So the kids and I. We were binge watching it, but I don't want to watch the last episode without them. And our schedules have been kind of off because they're uh, virtual schooling right now. So our schedules have been off. When I can watch, it's too late for them to watch. Although they're probably still up right now as I speak. Okay, let's cut that. Cut that. Bring this in just a tad. I'm probably going to have to cut some more. But I'm going to leave that just like that. I'm not going to adhere the ribbon down because I may need to move it when I put my, when I put this layer up. Yep, I think I'm going to have to move it a little bit. Move in some more. Okay, just like that. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals really quick boom boom all right and I'm being careful strategic in placing the dimensionals because I may have to tuck one of my um, leaves like up under this I don't know but I'm just trying to um, not put adhesive like too close to the top or too close to the bottom in case I need um, room to add in something okay I'm gonna put I probably should have stamped my image first I mean my sentiment um yeah let's put that right is that even nope I know y'all are watching like uh Keisha that's not even okay there we go much better right okay so I might end up um, stamping my sentiment and then probably layering it on. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this, right? Now, 
let's bring in the lovely blooms. Check out these blooms, y'all. Look at that. I think I need to die cut another one of those. But I did just like different colors um, that's going to coordinate. And then I came in with um, crumb cake centers um, just as like a, a neutral accent. All right, so let's do, let's bring, let's bring in this. I think I need to cut another one of these. I'm gonna cut that in old olive, but I wanna show the dye. So you get a label in here, you get the stem, you get all of these flowers, different centers, different leaves, and you get this bow um, in here to add to your card as well. So. The dyes are amazing. All right, let's put this to the side and I'm gonna bring in my mini. I got a scrap piece of old olive. Let's tear this down and let's die cut this really, really quick. The mini stamp and emboss machine is available for order. You can order it now. It's cute, it's handy, fabulous. All right, let's run this through. Uh, hold up. There we go. Run. Just like that. I think I just need one. I think one is good. I always check the bo bottom. Uh, some of my stamps have been sticking to the bottom lately. Okay. So, let's get this out. If this doesn't come out, normally it flops out. I guess it wants to be stubborn so I can use my pierce tool to punch it. Y'all know I still cannot find my, um, my take your pick tool. I don't know where it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this on. Yeah, we can go ahead and lay it down. That's exactly how I want it. The stamp and seal. Stamp and seal. All right. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's... I pro you know what? I noticed on one of the cards that I did before, this one, like, I was so... It was, like, off. It wasn't crooked. Since I'm not live, I don't have anybody typing saying, oh, it's not straight. It's not straight. Okay, so now I'm just going to come in and I am going to just layer these bad boys up just like this. Um, I'm just going to put them like this just so I can see where I want them to be. And then I will adhere them down. Let's see, I may have to cut. Something off of. No, that's fine. Okay, I'll do those two. Let me bring in my glue dots if I can find them. My desk is a mess. There I go. All right, let's bring in glue dots on the back of the. Pick that up. Pick that up. And I'm just doing it down at the bottom, um, the bottom of the leaf. So, um, so it can still, you can still see dimension on the card without using a, um, without using a stampin' dimensional. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna take this one put this one like right there okay now I can I can put adhesive straight down on these because I think I'm I may pop the centers up bone folder bring some of the petals up a little bit this is so cute. Like, I love it. Love it. 
Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one, kind of curl the petals up a little bit to add dimension. And then I think I may put that one like right there. Like, tuck it behind it, kind of like, like that. Okay, because I want to have room for my sentiment. Um, okay, now I'm going to pop the purple posy ones on dimensionals. Make sure that's the back. Nope, that's the front. Put that, put it on the back. Make sure you're looking. The stitching in these flowers are everything. Okay, take your backs off your dimensionals. Pop them right there in the center, just like that. And then now I am going to put the centers down with glue dots. All right. Like so, it probably would be cute with like an opal round. Where are my opal rounds? The new embellishment in the mini catalog. They're cute too. Oh, move that over. Okay. Now, coming together, coming together. Let me see. Tails are off. Okay, and I'll trim those and just, well, let's trim them now. I'm not using my ribbon scissors. Okay, now let's see what I want to lose the dies. Okay. All right, let's see. You mean so much. You are amazing. I think either one of those will fit. Okay, where's my stamp set? Keisha, where's stamp set? Where's the, oh, here it is. Um, let's see. You mean so much. Oh, congrats will also fit. Let's see. This is You Are Amazing. That's kind of tight. Yeah, congrats. It's going to be too tight. Let's. You know what? That seems kind of tight, but I really like it. Let's, let's go with this one. All right. And this is going to be in Gorgeous Grape. I'm trying to see if I should put, you know what, I probably need to. This is another label from the stitched label dies, and I think I need to do it. That will add something to it, don't you think? Hold on. Let's double these up. Talk about dimension. All right, let's see if this is going to fit. I'm going to stamp it um, to the right because some of it is going to have to tuck up under that leaf. You see, it's good that I didn't put adhesive all the way down on the bottom, right? All right, let's stamp. Make sure I got good coverage. All right, and let's do this kind of like here. Okay, you are amazing. Okay. Let's let this dry a little bit and go ahead and clean my stamp. I'm gonna let that dry. It doesn't need as long as the night of navy. The night of navy is really dark, so take a minute to dry. I normally hit it with the heat gun. Let's heat this with the heat gun. because I don't want it to smear. Okay, now let's see. 
Oh, look, lucky, lucky. I forgot. And I have, have I used these yet? I haven't used them yet. Oh, uh, okay. So these are the um, pastel pearls. And this goes with the hydrangea set in the, um, in the mini catalog. Okay, where, I know y'all are probably looking at my pierced tool. Okay, here it is right here. Let's see, should I go Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape? Let's see, let's go ahead and put this down first and then let's see. Talking about winging it tonight. Okay, let's do, you know what, if I offset it a little bit? No, I'll do it. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I want to, to line up or not. I don't think I want to offset it a little bit. Oh, cute. Cute. All right, let's see. Should I do this one? Or should I do this one? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's do this one. Let's do one here. And do one here. And then do one like there. All right. That's it. Oh, you know what? That's not it. Let's do our center because when I do the center, y'all are going to be like, oh, yes. That really adds to it. Let's see. I have an extra piece over here. Is this a layering piece that I have? Bam. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring in our, um, these two, this is going to be Purple Posy. Purple Posy. And then I'm going to do the centers in. Oh, should I? Mmm. Let's see. I may do something different. I may do, yeah, not Purple Posy. Let's do um soft sea foam and then Highland Heather. I think I'm gonna like that. Alright. I'm almost done guys. This is what happens when you're not sure exactly what you want to do. Alright, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The video is not gonna be too too long. Okay, I'm gonna stamp these two and then I'm gonna bring in the smaller one and stamp that one like right there. And then I'm gonna take, um, where, where is the center? I'm gonna take the center. You know what, I kinda want this center to match what I put on the outside. I don't think it's that one. I think it might be, hmm. I think it might, you know what? It might be that one. Okay. Then this one is going to go in the gorgeous grape. Gorgeous grape centers. Like that. And like that. And then one here. Cute, right? Okay. Now, hit it with the too because I don't want it to smell. Okay, you can write your little note on the inside. Let me get that out the way so it doesn't mess up my card front. And then I'm just gonna put this down with the stamp and seal as well. All right, let's see. Awesome, cute. Oh, I still need to I'm cut this down a little bit. There we go. All right, guys, that is it. You are amazing. And then this is the inside. Cute. I hope y'all like it. 
Um, and it's again using the In Blooms bundle that is available in my online store, craftysweet.stampinup.net. Um, in Bloom bundle. You can buy the bundle. You can either add the pastel pearls or the ribbon, and then that will be a little bit over $50, and then you can get this celebration paper um, for free. That's in the celebration brochure. All right, that's the card that we made tonight. And here is the one I made the other night. So same layout, um, just different colors, um, and it just different ribbon, and it just makes the whole card look totally different. All right, if you guys have any questions, you can always email me at craftysweet at gmail.com. The link to the shopping store will be in the description. And if you have any questions on anything that I use, I'll put that in the description as well so you'll know. All right, thanks so much for joining me. You guys have an awesome day. Goodbye.